Oh yeah, it feels good down here right now. Yeah. Turn that light off for them. Uh, doesn't smell good, but yeah, it feels good. Oh man, this turns worse. Well, yeah, because they probably knocked everything down. They did. Oh, oh gosh, geez. there's a dead thing in here somewhere. No, thank you. Oh, yeah. You just got to learn how to hold your hand real steady. Man, I, no, there's no way. No way. I found one for like 500 bucks. That That's not too bad. That's doable. At so least. I'm thinking about doing that. Okay, like, 200 bucks. I was like, yeah, I'm good. You guys got one more you going to? Colburn or is that? No, we did Colburn first and it was pretty much empty. So everything I filmed today has been that empty been units. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, hon. Appreciate it. Have a nice night. You too, now. You guys, the owners? You guys manage it. Oh, your managers? Okay. Because, yeah, people have been staying in the basement. Yeah, this guy came out the other day, stole this van. My dad lives right there. I left the key in. I went for one minute, jumped in, took off. The cops found it in five minutes. But, yeah, you got to do something for that. Yeah, that's what we're here trying to clear it out. Great. God bless you, man. Thank you. Stole the fucking van. What a real piece of shit. Ballsy. Right? So you looking as ashy as me today. Yeah, I am ashy. <laughs> but I don't give a fuck. Me neither. So that's how you know we washed our ass. That's why I'm ashy. Clean? Right. And I pay her rent every month. She ain't lacking on shit. And when uh, if, when we put a lock on there, we're gonna give you a key. I know. And but they, that key and can't be that key. You see that? I didn't even know they broke the lock. Cause I I had a key two weeks ago. But I need the key now for. Right. But we're yeah. gonna put a lock on there, and we're That's gonna, we're gonna give it to you. That's when I started the butcher knife. And uh. Um, Took a lot of bugs out hoping they, cause it'd be dark in the motherfucker. Yeah, who wants to hang out in the dark? Your landlord, she provided us a whole slew of photographs of the home and I, I on move out day and I gotta say the the house looked pretty pretty rough. It was in pretty pretty tough shape. You guys tore well, that home up. It, it it was it was, but it was pretty rough when we moved in too. They never fixed anything. Can you elaborate on that? Um, well, we didn't have a stove for the first eight months. No stove, no dishwasher. Um, I've got I've got pictures and um, and lists of everything that was wrong with the house, and they never really fixed any of it. Um, about eight months later, they got the stove fixed. Uh, the deck, my uh, son fell through the deck once, and my daughter fell through it once. They knew it was bad. They never replaced it. There was a hole that went from the bathroom to the outside that was there when we moved in and we've been trying to get them to fix it for forever. And a few months ago they came in and threw a piece of plywood over it and they know it's all rotten out under there. The joists are rotten and everything. Uh, the kitchen floor is rotted underneath and that's been that way since day one. The laundry room door was kicked in. The laundry room door had been kicked in and never fixed. It was never lockable. The window fell out on the main. Yeah, and the window um, in the one bedroom fell out, hit the hit hit my granddaughter in the head, and that's still not fixed. 
We put a yeah. piece of plywood up that night and they never came and fixed it. East Asian stuff. I always forget you guys stage everything before it goes down. So I was like waiting for someone to come around the corner with stuff, and I was like, "Oh, I don't think they're coming." So we need to do all that walking. No, hey, you're good. Takes less time. It's smarter. We're smarter, not harder, right? Yeah. And it costs you all less. Well, that's fair. Up and down, up and down. And it takes all day. Yeah. That's more money, yeah. Go down, catch a little, go down. It's a good strategy. Pack it all, then go down. If I'm in the way, you can just boot me wherever you need to be out of the way. Um, I think these empty bags are it. Bring me that. Yeah, that's what I was Boom. Dang, that sucker's pretty. Spire crawling up right there. All right, we're gonna take up more pictures though, so hold on. Yeah, no, 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 you're good. I'm just trying to get out of the weird murder basement. We're not trying to uh, have a seizure. Let's see what the uh, upward horizon has for us. We're at Trace Leche. Oh man. We're at three mils? Yeah. Where's the, is that the switch for upstairs? I don't know, it's creepy. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Well. Got the stuff right there. Imagine how this place looks when it snows. Oh, dude. With everything being open. Fucked. You mean beautiful? <laughs> Winter Wonderland? Did you say beautiful? <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the next show. Presumably. Yeah, just presumably the next. We didn't need the uh, lockbox code for this one. Yeah, <laughs> like for every investor that works with us, uh, for us to help them buy properties, we also have investors who reach out to us who they already have properties, and it's not working for them, and they want us to take over the investment for them to stabilize them, uh, or just sell the investment because they're done. All right, so here's your utilities. Fully set up with no problems. There's part of the uh, foundation on the ground. Well, good news is it comes with a brand new furnace. Once yeah, after you pay for it. it. This is uh, one of the few rooms with windows. <laughs> and vinyls. I'm not going in the new room. Oh no, fuck no. There's too many obstacles in here. Yeah, here you go internet, there's needles there. As you guys can see, the uh, garage is in great shape. It's ready to go. Moving ready. Get our little house shot. Gonna walk up. Uh, get some photos. Roll. It's rolling, 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 rolling. I'll come back through and get the other wall. Right, you get like soccer moms from Sacramento, California, and their husband's an engineer, 
and they've never been to a neighborhood uh, where the houses sell for less than $800,000, they have no idea that you have to tell your maintenance crew, hey, don't just stick your hand blindly on top of door jams or in cabinets so you don't get poked with a fucking needle. I almost went right down the stairs. That would have been sweet. Okay. Uh, I mean, that squeeze my bladder. I got proof. Let me kick it off. Uh, do an outro, I guess. I don't know. What should I say for an outro? Uh, this place sucks. And I took the one out there, too. That was upstairs when I come in. I just click it on the side mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. See, that was for my safety. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you. Because my granddaughter's play down there. Because that's where they like to play. And not. Uh, but since these motherfuckers been coming in, oh no, I'm not in the basement, um, hot tea. They be lying to me. But yeah. no, I want you to know, set the record straight, they don't live in apartment one. Okay. Angel. Because that's the man that likes the cans. Because I got two bags of cans up there for him. He'll wind up. You know, I, I know a lot of these people. And you know, my heart goes out for him. Especially all of them. There's my flashlight. I did. There's that other lock that used to be right here. Take care of it. I just have to sweep this right now. And canvas. But I help take care of the um, uh, white cloth and all of it. That's right upstairs. Okay. Right, let's check this Took a little bit of time, but now we are into the magic. Uh, we got uh, the movers starting to actually get some of the items moved on to the lawn. And uh, this is what happens when you steal from your landlord. Stuff right here, stuff. We got a lot of stuff right here we got to get first. Yeah, I was just taking one person. Oh.
Jesus. That's gonna fill up the whole lawn with this, with everything that's in there. <laughs> Shit. Left everything. And the girlfriend's still down there claiming that she knows the lady that... She's she down there right now? She does. The lady She's down there right now, yeah. One, uh, babysits her child. So, okay. and the, the unit one kind of takes... She doesn't live here, but she stays here occasionally. So it kind of handcuffed us a little bit. Right, that's kind of where we are. We're just... We kind of probably have to move along with like an eviction process of some, some sort. Uh, I don't think so, because unit number one says she does not live there. Just stays there. All her property is in a non-residential area because those little, uh, you know, uh, wardrobe or you know, storage or something cannot be considered a uh, a residence. A residence, not a living space. Right, yeah. right. No so bathroom. No if bathroom. you need us to haul her out of here, we did yesterday. We'll do it again. Okay, I told, I, I told, I told her she had 15 minutes to gather her stuff and get out. Yeah. So if you guys want to swing by again in a couple minutes. Uh, let me holler down real quick. Let me see if she's getting out. Tell her the police that were here yesterday are here today. Okay. If she wants to go. We got a free ride. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, again, I've seen a whole slew of pictures, and it was probably one of the rougher homes I've ever seen at an eviction. And according to the landlord, she believes you have cost her in the ballpark of $15,000. Now, do you have any intention of paying her back the $15,000 that you cost her? I don't, I don't think I cost her $15,000. There's no way. I would say that's a fairly accurate number based upon the condition the home was left in, the lack of rent, the court costs. Uh, I mean, these are some pretty atrocious photographs that uh, we've seen. Uh, of both the home, the deck, the yard, the shed, everything. It was pretty destroyed. You guys the chopped that home was, up pretty bad. The deck was rotted when we moved in. It was unsafe. The realty company wouldn't even walk on it. The deck is them. The bathroom is them. The back doors are them. Both back doors are rotted out. That's all on them. That's all. We got detailed photos of that stuff when we moved in. Yeah, we do. I understand you have your photos, but what I'm, I'm telling you is a person who's in, in the business as well, from the photographs that I saw, it, it, it is a fair estimate that uh, what you did, what, with the items you left in the home, the condition of the home, the holes in the wall, the dirt, the grime, the filth, uh, the, the cars in the backyard, the boat in the backyard, it, it is very fair to say that it is going to cost this this woman at least fifteen thousand dollars to fix the things you did to her home. I got things to do without standing here. No, I can't do that. I, but it's I listed. Gotta, so you telling me you're not gonna give me the owner's name? So who are we supposed to pay our rent to next month? Whoever manages the property. I need their information, dumbass. I mean, a bathroom over here. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look for everyone. Record it. It's too bad. This is, I mean, it's probably a little less, but yeah, for sure. So. Whoa! What Dr. Seuss book is this, dude? If only I could get to it. Watch out. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Go for it. It's not out of the box, I just flipped it. Hand, hand, finger, thumb. Never heard of it. Me neither. All right, well, it's a beautiful nightmare. I just want to get some damn stuff in. Check out some There's a lot of protein stuff up here, too. Lots of foam. Yeah. A lot of empty boxes. Yeah, empty boxes. Foam. Sweet leather jacket. Foot joints. This person loved the golf. I don't think it was her. This is a hot plate? That's what was there. It's a hot plate, y'all. 
Hell yeah! Yeah, watch, your, watch right. your step. Okay. Damn it, Kyle. Now you're good. Whenever he's ready, I'll go down with him to the basement. You know what they say, protect your neck, son. It's like they purposely move things into the way. So there's that. Are you saying that these people weren't super helpful? Nope. Oh shit. This is deep. How does that light turn on? Defeat, now that you have to drill out a lock. With pressure, it's not just like leisure lock drilling. No, this is this is the game. This is game time. Uh, you could. So, Ken just told me they have an hour left on their first one. So, but it's no tenant. So, um, I'm about to crack the door on one. I don't know if there's tenants or not. Well, you could meet Ken at Memphis to get their first choice ones rolling, and then I could come and. Man, look at those two dudes right there, bro. You can tell those guys do this all day, man. Those dudes are jacked up. Now, if anybody's uh, curious to know the dynamic of, of what we have going on over there, there's there's three groups uh, of people here making this eviction happen, right? There's three groups of people delivering you guys the magic, right? What we have is you got all of the actual Holton Wise employees, right? So myself, the two guys in my car right now filming me, Steve and Tom, and then we got that guy right there with the camera, that's Matt, and then you guys saw Vince, we were talking to Vince earlier, and then we had Gary here, okay? Those are all Holton Wise employees. Uh, Vince and Gary are going to be changing the locks uh, when we're done here, and they were able to provide access uh, for the bailiffs and the moving crew. That is the other two groups of people, right? So like the guy handling the couches and all that stuff, all those guys that are not wearing the Holton Wise uh, branded attire. Like that guy right there, you know, carrying the big ass mattress, right? These uh, dudes that are, you know, pretty muscled up from moving all day. Those are a separate company that works for Holton Wise that handles move outs. The way move outs work is the actual landlord itself, right? So Holton Wise, uh, believe it or not, by Cleveland law, we are actually not physically allowed to touch any of the tenant's belongings. Uh, so like if I, for some reason, wanted to hop out of this truck right now and go carry a couch out of the, the house and put it on the front lawn, I don't, <laughs> but like if I wanted to, uh, I actually would not legally be allowed to. Just like any of my other guys you see over there with the branded attire, they're not actually allowed to do that either. You have to hire a third party uh, arm's length company uh, that has previously been approved by the city of Cleveland. Uh, you know, the city of Cleveland, the housing court, they give you like a whole list uh, of these companies and you choose, choose uh, which one of those you'd like to work with. Uh, the majority of the evictions you guys see and the majority of the, the really bad stuff that you guys see us dealing with, it's because somebody didn't do the right due diligence and got in and over their head and had a really hard time managing the investment, running the investment, 
because it is hard. It is not just free, easy mailbox money. And they contacted us to either help them take over their existing investment and we got to go in and we got to clean up the problems that they created, evict the bad motherfuckers, get good motherfuckers in there. Or they're just so over it and they're so done with the stress and the, and the trauma and, and, and just the, the bullshit that they're just like, hey, Holton Wise, this is where we're at. This is our property. This is what's going on. Just get rid of it. Like, get it away from our lives. Can't go too much higher because the, <laughs> well, the door broke. Alright. The door came right off the hinges when I tried to open it. <laughs> this one might need a little bit more work. Yeah, just a little bit. Not not a whole lot. Yeah. Oh, there's definitely something dead in here. There you go, it's like Kyle took care of that door for us. Okay. Oh, oh gosh, there's a dead thing in here somewhere. Police department. Rail 703, we're checking the unit. Copy, checking 703. Police department. And also costs we're including in that, of course, is the the rent you didn't pay her, the money she had to pay the management company and the attorneys to actually evict you folks. It's going to cost her approximately $15,000. I would say that's a fair estimate. Do you plan on paying back any of that? Or if you think it's a lower number, are you working out some type of an agreement with her to pay her a lesser number so you guys can part ways uh, with all debts paid? Uh, I would like to, yeah. Yeah, I don't like I don't like leaving debts or leaving you know leaving things the way they are. I don't. What steps have you taken thus far to pay her back the money you owe her? Uh, I haven't taken any steps yet. I'm still trying to get on my feet to figure out what we're going to do. What are you currently doing? Where did you go after that? Uh, we're sleeping at a friend's house right now, and we'll be staying at a hotel here pretty shortly. Now, are are you working? Yeah, I'm trying to, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm a hundred percent disabled vet, but I'm trying to work where I can. I had to I had to put school on hold because of all the things that happened last year, and uh, we're, we're just try we're trying to make it. All right, so we're at four truckloads. Yeah. We're so the one for the basement, one for up here, two for the first floor. Holy macaroons. Vans. She's hot, boys. I'm sweating. Dude, do not enter police order. Uh, I guess they did get a uh, notice that said that they were being evicted, so. I guess that counts as police order. Oh, this is exactly how I left it when I did the uh, vacancy check. You got a light on you? Yeah. What is all of that? Is that just dirt? Ooh, it looks, it looks like, like feces. Let me get in there. I think there's a little bit of poo. Oh, yeah, it feels good down here right now. Yeah. Turn that light off for them. Uh, doesn't smell good, but yeah, it feels good. Yeah, because they probably knocked everything down. They did. You want some new loafers? Nah. Come on, man. You look so good. I don't think I could get them on. They're a little, uh, 
A little thin. Oh, you got wide feet. Real fat feet. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.